Mike. Dan. How That's are we doing? Our names in opposite order because I'm Dan. <laughs> and I'm Mike. All right. Yeah. Glad we got that straightened out. That's a thing. What are we uh, reviewing today? Well, from the looks of that can properly placed on your right, we are looking at for Quentum's number 21, New England IPA. Son of a gun. I believe this son of a bitch is coming in at 6.5% ABV. And, ooh, would you look at that? I'm looking. What do you got? What's the bottom of your can doing? The bottom of my can is doing uh, what Ridgeopolis loves, colored dots. It must mean something. I'm going to let Ridge figure that out. I think it means they ran out of lot coder ink or something. (laughs) There you go. Uh, Anyways, this is brewed with El Dorado, Citra, and Azaka hops. We all know Citra because we love our Citra bombs and such. We do. El Dorado, I've had a couple of times. Well, probably more than that within the other half beers. They throw everything in there. Yeah. Azaka, I feel like I've had I, these hops, but okay, I can't remember in what. Yeah. I, that's why I almost like the single hop series beers just because you kind of get to learn the hops and yeah roll with yeah. it and then uh so tell you what we're gonna crack it open and we're gonna pour it right here on flx beer reviews another episode of as the beer swirls and it surely will swirl no you know that's right what kind of color are we looking at well oh when i poured too much in there it's looking yeah. like juice. It's looking like a nice orangey tangerine thing. juice. Oh, that, that's a that's a nice position. Mm. Let's show it off. All of its glory. It looks good. Hey, Mike. I didn't wash this glass. What's going on with, with your glass apparent. there? Yeah, yeah it's hot. <laughs> okay. Do some stuff to it. <laughs> it is. Look at that. It's so much better. There right? you go. Trick Get of the a trade. Little shake, a little pounce. This beer looks delicious. No, it, it does. Uh, you're getting a golden orange color. A uh, mm-hmm. uh, little bit lighter than like honey, I would say. Yep. Kind of hue to it. Uh, yeah, that's opaque. You cannot see through it. Yeah, you're not Definitely, looking through uh, this. A hazy New England IPA, if I've ever seen one. The head is non-existent for me. It's taken uh, off pretty quick. It started out as like a half finger of like pretty creamy head, but it's not sticking around. Right. All right. Uh, get a whiff on there, huh? Let's get a whiff. Get a whiff. That's delightful. Is it? <sighs> yeah. Give it a little swirl. Oh, I guess I'm out of the nose. I love it. Gotta be honest, it's a little bit muted for me. Is it really? I'm getting a ton yeah. of citrus in here, fruit. And I just, I don't know if it's too cold or. That is a I shame if it my is. sense of smell. <laughs> no, it smells delicious. I mean, I'm getting something. Oh. It's just not, it's not popping. It's. Okay, I'm. I'm. We'll see. I think I'm getting all your normal New England IPA scents out of it. Okay, all right. Well, apparently I've lost my sense of smell. Let's hope that doesn't mean bad things for Dan. All right. Hope now. Hopefully your taste is still there. So oh, let's dive in. Bitch. All right. <laughs> Cheers, buddy. Cheers, buddy. I've got good news. I've got bad news. Lay it on me. Good news is I can still taste. You know what the bad news is? What's that? I've only got one more can of this beer. <laughs> no. Uh, Talk to me, buddy. Uh, what do you got? Right off the bat. So... Obviously, classic citrus, 
yada yada yada. You get whatever you hazy. Uh, there's a melon aspect to this one. That's what I was thinking. I would say it's it's cross between. Like a honeydew, a honeydew melon, and it's kind of weird. Some cantaloupe. I'm getting cantaloupe, and I had none of that on the nose. Like it was just a normal New England citrus, citra smelling beer. But I'm getting melon right up front. I'm gonna move back a little bit because I want everyone to see this. That's where. It's it's pretty it's pretty smooth on the mouthfeel. It's drinking a lot lighter than I thought it would. I mean, for some of the IPAs we've had from Frequentum, at six and a half percent, yeah, it's light. You yeah. know what I mean? Because uh, a lot of them are. Seven percent, eight percent double IPAs. This would be your classic single IPA mm-hmm. for whatever that means. It's not a bad IPA. Mm-mm. I'm not saying it's not a bad all. IPA. It's not something that blows my socks off. I think the flavors are more muted than you would think they'd be. So um, my beer fridge is about 42 degrees right now. Mm-hmm. I think as this warms up, it's going to open up. I will say for 6.5%, I've drank IPAs with less impact and less flavor than this. This mm-hmm. has a ton of flavor. But it's like you drink it, it's there, and it goes away. Yeah. F- finish is kind of rather clean, I would say. It finishes pretty clean. I'm getting just a bit of bitter at the end. Okay. It's starting to creep up on me. Yeah, I mean, not a lot of bitterness, I would say. No, not not a lot, but it's just a little right. bit creeping up as the more and, I sip. You know, I'm, I'm really interested to get your aspect on it because uh, full disclosure, I've had a pop or two before this. So my palate may be a little, you know, off kilter. Uh, I, I have been drinking some waters, though. So, um, okay. I mean, but so I think, you you know, your palate's a little bit fresher. I'm not saying yeah. I shouldn't be reviewing this beer, but you may pick I up think... on a couple of different things that I don't, you know. Yeah, I I really just think it's it's the flavors are much more muted mm-hmm. on the tongue than they are on the nose. It finishes pretty clean. It's a fairly smooth mouthfeel. I'm getting, you know, like I said, just a touch of bitter on the end. I think it's, it drinks like a session beer. I could sit here and sip this pretty regularly. Right. Uh, let's talk about the no. body for a minute. Yeah. Medium, lower side of medium. Lower side of medium. Yep. Fair to say. Yep, I uh, think so. I would say it's it's soft. There's mm-hmm. there's carbonation there, not so much soda pop side of carbonation. Um, minimal carbonation, I would say. Yeah, very minimal. I think uh, it's almost. Just enough, just enough like spritz to just kind of pop in there and break up that soft uh, mouthfeel, that cream, yeah. you know, pillowy yeah. mouthfeel. Mm-hmm. I will say, out of all the frequency beers, like their IPAs, generally the mouthfeels, you can count on. You can count on a frequency IPA to have that super soft pillowy mouthfeel that just kind of floats on your tongue, kind of teases your taste buds a bit, then it goes mm-hmm. down the gullet. And you're just like, I got more of that. Just, yeah. you know. Uh, I'll agree with you there. 
Right. So, like, mouthfeel, that plays a huge part. And you can have a mediocre IPA as far as your hops, your malt, uh, you know, whatever, yeast, the whole five yards. But if you can nail the mouthfeel, I'm going to bump it up a couple of points just because it makes it that much more drinkability. Like, Yeah. So. I agree with you there. I'll tell you um, what, I would I would love to have just a lineup of the whole series just to see the differences between them all. As the beer swirls. As the beer swirls. All right. Mike. What else? Got anything else on this beer? No, I think you know, I think I've covered it. I think so. I think it's extremely drinkable. Okay. It's delicious. So goes down easy. Put that drinkability in the numbers. I'll give it a four. Okay. You know, just as I was about to rate it, I got a pop of flavor that I didn't get before. What'd you get? What do you call those things? What's that? What do you call those things? Flavors? No, 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 not flavors, you idiot. I don't know. Uh, I'm trying to tell me those little, those little citrus joints. The little itty, itty bitties. The runts? No. Clementine. I couldn't think of it. Oh, like a okay. The little itty bitties. You know what I mean? I, well, I do now. You you're being yeah. very broad. <laughs> I, I, oh. I am. Whatever. I could have said anything. Uh, oh, okay. Just listen. We got to wrap this up. We okay. Let's wrap up. this up. Uh, <laughs> that being said, I'm right there with you. I'll give it a four. All right. It's, it's a great beer. Another it, solid outing from if I, if I went to the brewery, they just had four packs of this. I'll buy one. I'll take it out. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. All right. Uh, All right. All right. Thanks, everybody, for watching. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Uh, our, our, well, our info is down in the, the description yeah I mean we got some Twitters Instagram Twitters untapped down there oh boy I don't know what's happening to your connection Mike but you're like the matrix over there just that's Mr. okay Robot, I like the matrix so. yeah uh, <laughs> all right all right we'll see you later well thanks everybody cheers for you. watching cheers